Just want to let you guys know what makes this K-Cup thing so awesome is that um, you can buy this little thing here and it's really cheap. You just buy it <laughs> and uh, you can put it inside here. So instead of buying these little K-Cups here, which are really not cheap, um, they're not. I mean, at 30 cents a cup of coffee can get expensive and although it is cheaper than Starbucks, it um, it still is more expensive than buying like a huge thing like this, which, you know, it's like, I'm really not saving any money, right? So if it's like $5.99 or so for this thing, and then $5.99 for like, or more actually, sometimes it's like 8 bucks for like 20 or 12 no, it's like 12 for, you know, 12 of these K-Cups. And if you were to use one of these a day, that would only last a half a month. So you'd be paying like up to $20 for coffee every month, which, I mean, that's okay. If you go out for coffee all the time, and this might be better, but if you drink coffee at home like I do all the time, then this is not the cheaper option. The cheaper option would be this, which, you know, this would last me about two or three months for six bucks compared to, you know, if I usually have about two to three cups of coffee, this, one of these, like, container things, let me see if I can find the, uh, the box, hold on. Alright, so this is the box. Um, yeah, for 12. So, <laughs> this was four ninety nine because it was on sale and it was normally, like, seven ninety nine. Ridiculous, right? So, I mean, if you think about it, not the best deal for me, um, because then I would be using this up in a week, less than a week, because that would be two a day, 12 of them in there, less than a week, and then, um, mostly it is, and then my husband also chips in too, and he, um, mostly uses the cups, which I'm okay with, because he only uses probably about one a day, so that's not really a big deal, um, and it's just easier for him just to use this in here than, and then I have the time to do this, he doesn't. Um, so I just don't even care if he uses it or not. Go ahead and put that guy down there. So we keep, I keep this stocked for when we have guests over and um, when he drinks coffee. So that's mostly for him and I usually have like two of these and then like a special treat, one of those for me. Which is totally fine. I enjoy coffee either way. So with this thing, all you got to do is this piece right here, it just pops out. I already popped it out because um, it's easier to do it with two hands. <laughs> and then I rinse it out and then I set it aside here. And then, um, whoops, and then you just pop this guy in. And then let's go ahead and get my coffee cup. I'm going to go get it out of here. I'm going to go ahead and get my coffee creamer, which this is not my favorite coffee creamer, but it was on sale and we didn't have an extra couple bucks to get the bigger one. It's just Bailey's caramel. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there first because um, it just mixes better. Put that down underneath. I have it at the 10 ounce and then just go ahead and close it like that. Voila. All done. And then you can if you want to, if you don't, I like, I prefer strong coffee, so I just empty it out and then do it again, um, just fill the little thing up again, and uh, it, I mean, it works for us, I mean, this, for me anyway, it's just really great to invest in something like these because it really, I, in my personal opinion, you're not saving a ton of money buying a lot of those, um, you will be saving a lot of money, um, you know just doing this. Well, not a lot of money. It's about the same amount if we were to have like a regular uh, coffee pot anyway. So, show you guys this yesterday. Um, this came in yesterday um, in the mail. So, my husband and I were able to look at it. And this is the catalog, which they start off in kindergarten. So, we have a long time to even think about this. Not till next year, because he'll be in preschool this year. So right now we're teaching him his, you know, all the stuff preschoolers need to know. Their colors, numbers, shapes, letters, lo upper and lower case. And um, 
Yeah, and this just basically explains it and kind of what they believe in. It's a Christian um, curriculum that we're going to go with. It's just the same curriculum I went through when I went in high school. Um, it's called ACE. And it just, this is the catalog itself. And then they really explain a lot and really help you um, to understand how to start. So, like, here's a quick start kit to kind of get you going. And it comes with like stickers and everything, and then um, free online diagnostic testing to see where your child is at, so you know where, when, you know, like which um, they're called paces, so like which booklet pace to order from. Um, it goes by um, grade and stuff. So yeah, just kind of and it teaches you, you know, biblical character traits, form basis for godly character development. They have memory verses. And then here's the kindergarten one, which we'll just go ahead and start them off with this. Um, the whole kindergarten kit comes with the alphabet, with like the little, little whoop de doo things there so they can learn how to sound out their letters. And they've got, um, so animal sound display cards, and they have a song CD, and then they've got a number train, which goes, I think, all the way up to 100. And, um... Yeah, and the very, like, if we were to order this kit in a complete pack, the entire year would be 340 which, in my opinion, is not that expensive if you, if that's the entire year of kindergarten. And, um, and then they have first grade. You can order the entire year of first grade. And then once they start getting older, um, they start getting to second grade, you can start ordering them in like small increments. So um, there's math here, and then you can order um, the entire year for math for $32. And then um, I think once they get past first grade, that's when they start, you know, like evening out their levels. And you, you know, or it's kindergarten, because right here, kindergarten. Um, yeah, they just have first quarter kit, second quarter kit, third and fourth. And then once they get to first grade, you can order um, by like math, English, social study, science and stuff and order them in increments if you want. But we'll probably just order, you know, kindergarten and first grade and then we'll just order it in increments when he gets to second and third grade and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. For Josiah and so we've just been saving some money aside for it so that it's not a huge chunk being taken out I mean if you think about it if we save you know even like 10 bucks a month we'd be able to pay this um, just right out of our pocket right away without it hurting us which it really wouldn't hurt us anyway it's our child's education and it's only $300 and um, it really isn't really not something that we're really concerned about when it comes to kids' educations. So, yeah, and it goes all the way up to, um, oh yeah, there's the order form, all the way to high school, and then I was like looking at the grade 9 stuff and remembering, you know, <laughs> exactly what, was, what we did and stuff. So, they go by, let's see, 1097 to 108. Yeah, I think that's how they go. I'm not exactly sure, but, um, yeah, the little paces are just, you know, they're probably about, they're about the size of this book, and they have books and stories, and then there's some of these, um, which we order books with, which you just order the books in a huge pack, and they are actually pretty inexpensive, so to buy, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six books is $48, so that's less than $10 a book. And then, yeah, less than ten dollars for a book, which and they're hardback too. They're not, they're not these little cheap uh, paperback books. So, um, like the Christians Courageous, I know that you can get that somewhere else, paperback, cheaper than seven sixty five. So I'll probably, you know, something that is small like this that I can order separately. I'll probably look to see if I can buy it used somewhere. Yeah, so we're looking forward to this. Oh, kind of a fun thing that's going on. Um, it was more last minute than anything. But at first we were going to go over to a friend's house for a play date. But then she texted all of us and said that um, her husband might stay home because he's sick. And um, her daughter is kind of stuffy and she just doesn't want to pass on the sickness. And uh, so... 
another one of my friends who, you know, really close with, she texts me and says, let's go to the beach. Beach is only like 45 minutes away. Not a big deal. I'm like, awesome. So I am just waiting for her to come. The kids are all ready to go. All I need to do is put the kids in the van and put all of our stuff in the van and give Eden her bottle and she'll sleep on the way there. And Josiah will have a sleep pad or he can talk to um, his little friend. So, yeah, it should be really fun. I'm excited. back from the beach. We didn't stay very long. There's a huge glare here because the only light that is on is my stairs light and I didn't want to turn on any other lights. So, um, yeah, it was cold <laughs> and uh, windy. I think that if it wasn't so cold, such a cold breeze, because it really wasn't like, the only thing that was cold was the breeze and I wore sandals and my uh, toes were ice cold. <laughs> So we, uh, we didn't stay for very long. We basically drove there, ate lunch, and we drove back, and it was good. We had a good talk on the way there and a good, good talk on the way back, and um, the kids were good for the most part. I mean, of course, like, you know, with two toddlers and two babies, there's going to be crying, so that's always to be expected. Um, we had fun anyway. Um, we were a little bummed that it wasn't just a little bit warmer. Like, it was too cold for the kids to play. Like, um, the two older ones did not want to play in the sand at all because it was so cold. Like, Josiah was shivering. <laughs> they just didn't want to move. And, uh, yeah, the kids were having a hard time because it was cold. And, um, yeah, that's too bad. But that's okay. There's always next time. And, um, that was just our day. And,. Just a quick there and back, pretty much. <laughs> but that's okay. The um, car ride back was pretty quiet for the most part. <laughs> and uh, right now, both my kids are in bed. And I forgot Josiah's leap pad in her car. <laughs> that's okay. I'll pick it up from her tomorrow. Um, and Eden's down for her nap because she slept a little bit on the way there for maybe like 30 minutes total. Maybe not even that. Probably less than that. And, uh... We, yeah, and she didn't sleep on the way back at all. So, yeah, she's catching up on her nap, and Josiah is doing his two-hour quiet time right now. He might nap, he might not. I don't really care what he does right now. <laughs> I just need my quiet time, and I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, take care of some things around my house and see what I'm going to cook for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> No more. That's not nice. Ooh. Josiah. Hi. <laughs> I'm getting all wet. Ah. Hey, stop that. Uh. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> 